The Goat House is back with Week 10 NFL Power Rankings, ranking every single NFL team from 32 to 1 every Tuesday morning. Excited to reveal the rankings for this week. We got a new number 32. That's really not a good thing. I don't know why I say it like it's a good thing. Let's take a look. And that is the New Orleans Saints ripping off seven straight losses. Dennis Allen fired. So, hey, maybe have, heading in the right direction. We'll see if they sell today. It's the trade deadline. We have multiple trade deadline videos on the channel. We predicted some trades. Exactly the Khalil Herbert one was the most recent one. Uh, we'll have more content, too, leading up to that deadline. Make sure to follow us on Twitter X for those live updates. But the Saints down two spots, number 32. Disappointing, embarrassing. Just how it is. 31, the Raiders, same thing. I mean, they're down three spots looking as ugly as anyone right there with the Saints. Did not expect these two teams to be great this year, but did not expect them to be 32 and 31. Let's keep going here. Panthers got that win, so they'll move up a couple spots. Uh, they actually beat both those teams that we just discussed this year. Uh, number 29, the Patriots lost to the Titans. It's a battle between two bad teams, so of course you're going to be down here and move down what they lost there. Speaking of the Titans, they win it, so they're going to go up three spots uh, you know, goes to overtime. Felt like they did outplay the Patriots in that one, though, so they deserve to win. And maybe the, I think this got to be the first time ever in my power rankings where a team that lost moved up two spots. It's just, you know, a big thing is winning. If they would have won, they would have soared up. But the eye test, you know, getting the feeling about teams, how they play is a big part of it as well. So you can't tell me the Dolphins, the way they're playing right now, are worse than the teams below them. Uh, they, they put up a good fight with the Bills, could have won that game. The Bills one of the better teams in football. So, yeah, just kind of a rare sighting there for my power rankings. But if they start winning, they'll climb. They got a big game Monday night against the Rams. 26, the Giants are down two spots, putting together a big losing streak. Just can't really fully put it together here still. 25, Jags will stay put. Jags are weird because they're sloppy still. Very sloppy still, but at the same time, it almost feels like they're playing a little bit better football. I mean, they outplayed the Eagles in the second half. Um, they played really tough. They played the Packers really tough a week, you know, last week. So could they get a sneaky win against the Vikings this week? We will see. Browns, yeah, get embarrassed by the Chargers. They did have that win a week ago against the Ravens. So they're, maybe they're not going to get punished too much because of that. Cowboys playing some bad football right now, and they're also injured. They're down two spots to 23. Colts are going to stay put. Decent in the first half, not so much in the second half in their Sunday night football game. 21, the Jets up six spots overall they've been disappointing underwhelming but they did just beat a really solid texans team and maybe things kind of clicked they figured some things out so they're gonna move a bit for that if you beat a team like that and you're looking better than the teams below you you're gonna move up six spots 21 number 20 seahawks are gonna stay put they have the rams they just couldn't couldn't quite finish on that you know in that game a pretty inconsistent team right now seattle the bears down two spots yeah, the you know, offense is playing as bad as anyone's offense in football. Felt like maybe they are deserving of moving down more. But other teams below them aren't. Uh, I guess they are helping them from moving down more. But yeah, dis really disappointing outing from the offense in the run defense against the Cardinals on Sunday. 18, Broncos down two spots. Yeah, it's kind of the, I think the Broncos are better than the Bears, but that's kind of the issue for both those teams is can they beat good teams? Can they do it? You know, that's a big question here as two teams with you know, rookie quarterbacks, young teams that felt like they were improving for a bit. More, more so the Broncos have been a little better, like I said, but, but then both kind of, once they play the better teams, you know, look a little bit different. So who's going to figure it out first? Again, they're a little different right now, but we'll see. Uh, Bucks are on a little bit of a losing streak. I mean, they played the Chiefs well, especially you know given the circumstances, missing top their top three receivers, sent them to overtime. If they would have went for two, they could have won the game. I'm not sure why they didn't go for two at the end of regulation, but I, I mean, they're they're still playing teams tough. The pass defense is pretty rough, but um, you feel like they have potential to be better than this, but they are losing right now. 16, the Bengals go up three spots, dominating win against the Raiders. As they should, but they, they get the job done. The Rams are putting some things together, uh, beating the Vikings last week and then beating the Seahawks this week, and they have a little bit more of a winning streak than that. But the back-to-back back -back weeks with um, some statement wins, if you will. So they're up three spots to 15. They're on the rise. Chargers up a spot, dominating victory against the Browns. So de defense has been awesome. Offense, the passing game has been picking it up. So they are on the rise. It's a tough team. It's a team that I don't know if anyone really would love to play because they'll, uh, they'll make it tough on anyone. 13, the Niners are going to stay put off the bye. Another one of those teams, you know, they're going to get McCaffrey back. You kind of figure they're maybe better than their record, but they got to go out and show it. 12, the Cardinals. Cardinals are a team I wanted to move up. Uh, you know, just 
no, not a lot of room to actually do that right now, but they are impressive. They are starting to stay consistent, and they feel like a pretty good team. They ran the ball extremely well, and they're starting to play a little bit better defense. Big game against the Jets, who actually might be starting to figure things out. Defensive line's playing good. Offense starting to click, so that actually should be a really big game. We'll see who we pick in all every game Tuesday night, tonight, in our weekly pick show, uh, the best show on the planet, in my opinion. Uh, Falcons are going to stay put 11. Yeah, they've been impressive. Uh, it's just not a lot of room to move them up this week. A lot of teams winning here. They're at 11. Steelers, 10. Offense is clicking with Russell Wilson. They did have a bye this week. We'll see what they do in a big game against the Washington Commanders this week. Number 9. Yeah, Texans are going to go down three spots. Disappointing one against the Jets. It was very winnable, but the offense line was awful. Stroud was... Not on his best game. Uh, it was tough because of the offensive line, but he still missed some throws that could have helped them win the game. Joe Mixon was awesome. The, the pass defense, uh, who rarely lets up, let up at the end of that game. Even in some of their wins, they haven't looked as good as I thought they would this year, but they're st I still view them as a good team. Uh, they could pull off a big-time upset against the Lions this week on Sunday Night Football. It's certainly possible in Houston, uh, so that should be a fun one. But they're down three spots to nine. Commanders up a spot to number eight. Eight versus ten this week. Steelers at Commanders. That's going to be an awesome game. Cannot wait to see who the rest of the guys pick and who ends up winning that game. Number seven, the Packers are going on three spots. Yeah, they played the Lions. Uh, it was a slop fest in that weather, but they were pretty sloppy. Even though they outgained the Lions, they were pretty sloppy and couldn't uh, execute fully in that game. They're going to go down three spots to number seven with other teams moving up ahead of them. The Vikings, yeah, a little bit of a rare situation where a team wins and they move down. Um, we'll keep revealing. I reveal the Eagles, and that's kind of the reason for it. I just feel like the Eagles, even though the Eagles were a little sloppy at the end of the Jags game, I just think in general, looking at the recent weeks and combine them, and the Eagles are they look better than the Vikings. They're playing better football right now, in my opinion. Uh, I know my fellow Vikings fans that have been on a roll call me a fake fan this year. They'll probably be back since I moved them down a spot. But I, I don't know if we could sit here and say that the Vikings are playing better ball than the Eagles. It feels like the Eagles are that number five team right now. So move them up a couple spots. Uh, Vikings had a great second half against the Colts. I mean, extremely sloppy in the first half. They're lucky they played the Colts and not the Eagles. You know, it's, you get my point there. But uh, they aren't quite, they're not playing quite as good as they were the first four or five weeks. But, uh, Still, the resume looks good. They're winning football games for the most part. Uh, they are in the top six. Eagles at number five as they are trending in the right direction. Number four, Ravens. Yeah, that Browns loss week ago is still tough, but overall, look at the resume. Look what they've done over the last several weeks. They look like one of the more dominant teams in football, and they go play a hot, solid Broncos team and absolutely destroy them, 41-10. to 10. So they'll move up for, for that. They're up four spots to number four in a team that they actually beat beat up pretty good but the bills have just looked better if you look at all the games combined there's been nine weeks uh so the bills remain at three but a close one with the miami dolphins is last week if they would have lost they would have moved down and then yeah it's still i don't think we had a situation like this ever in my power ranking still pretty tough because the chiefs are undefeated it's very tough to be undefeated through this many weeks they're a little sloppy. They haven't looked the greatest, but they're undefeated. They can close out games. They can, when it matters most, they can uh, close it out, make a big play, score, convert. You know, so it, the Chiefs, it's one A and one B right now. I, I just have no reason to move the Lions down. They they look like the best team based on the eye test. They have the best resume right now. I mean, they beat the Vikings and the Packers both on the road. NFC North rival games. Two really solid teams. I mean, the resume is as good as it gets, and then the eye test is as good as it gets as the offense looks like the best in football, especially when you combine the run and the pass, how consistent, how ag I mean, the accuracy from golf, just the consistency from the offense in general, being able to clutch up at big moments. The defense is starting to play better ball as well. Uh, a big game against number nine, the Texans. It feels like the Lions are a lot better right now. We can't say a lot. You know, maybe that's not fair, but but it's in Houston on Sunday night football. They're wearing those new alternate all reds. Uh, that could be an interesting game. I, you know, the Texans may be able to throw on the Lions. They don't have the pass rush of the Jets that caused them problems. But then the Lions have that run defense to kind of slow down a red-hot Joe Mixon. So that should be a really good game again. Tuesday night, weekly pick show with the guys. Cannot wait. We'll have score predictions, trade deadline videos on the channel, and then uh, possibly more to come here before that deadline hits uh, today. So join us for all of our content. Like, subscribe to Notification Zombie. Much appreciated. It's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.